wasn't me. It was me, Sammy. I broke my piggy bank. It's time to buy a new smartphone. Mine isn't functioning anymore. Sue, when did you manage to save so much money? I was saving change from shopping, but now I need to count all this. Can you help me? Oh, sure. It's a very pleasant task. a special counting machine like they have in the banks. Uh, Sam, where are you going? What's your guess? Sam, you're a genius! Duh. Hi, guys! All the greatest human inventions began from a simple wheel. An arm machine is not an exception. And who invented the wheel, Sue? Oh, well, it was invented thousands of years ago. Thousands of years?! Guys, do you know why ancient people needed the wheel? Write in the comments what you think about it. Sam, can you help me make two more wheels like this? Sure, Sue. I am a cardboard master after all. <laughs> Better say a cardboard gluing master. Exactly. Next, we'll need puddles like this. They're made of two layers of regular cardboard and one layer of cover cardboard. Sam, how's it going with the wheels? All good, but I can't understand why you need three of them. <laughs> to catch! These are future digital screens for units, tens, and hundreds. And these are gears. I read that there are some plant hoppers that have gears on their legs. Is this true, Sue? Yes, Sammy, it is. With such leg mechanisms, the nips of these plant hoppers can jump very fast and at long distances. Sue! Sue, did I do good? Oh, you glued it so nicely! Hole to hole! You forgot to cut the gear for the third wheel, Susie! Here, we will need these small wooden pieces, Sammy. The parts should be placed strictly between the numbers. I thought that if we have gears, then there should be a switch. Sam, you're thinking like an engineer mechanic. These are some great parts from Cover Cardboard. I will glue it, I will. Tap, 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 tap. I wish I could glue a new smartphone for you like this. Or... No, 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 no. We won't make any smartphones from cardboard. I'll just buy a new one. A high resolution camera, and tons of gigabytes of memory. Me too. I was thinking that technology is developing so fast. True, Sammy. And what are you worried about? What if the machines take over? What if we serve them and not the other way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. At least not in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Today it's Roomba and tomorrow the owner of our house. Look, Sammy, do you really think that such a cute mechanism can do any harm? I'm not sure, Susie. I'll watch it. Sue is preparing the other parts for our craft, and I will make a surprise for her. Ugh. I'll glue the future body for our machine. I'm pretty sure that this is the best industrial design. Whoa, when did you manage to make such an awesome body? It didn't take me long. And uh, what's that? New parts, of course. But there is one special feature. These wooden sticks. They will become the axis for our small wheels. Here's more cover cardboard, and just a tiny little bit of a regular one. Cover cardboard is very durable, so our parts will serve longer. See him disappeared again! Ugh. Huh. I better go drink some hot chocolate. Lunch time! By the way, first MDF material, similar to the one we use in our craft, was invented because of lunch. Maybe I'll invent something too. The inventor left for lunch and turned off the wood shaving steam press. But it was broken, so the steam continued to flow. 
That's how a very solid material was created. Now you see, Celia can't skip lunch. <laughs> right, Sammy. Check out the result. And if I hadn't left, you wouldn't have done so great. Guys, what do you like to eat for lunch? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the news of our channel. We'll assemble it all together. It's important to go nice and slow here. I'm totally puzzled. What are you actually doing? This part doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> this is a very useful part. With its help, we can reset the numbers on the coin counter. I still don't get it. Sammy, don't rush. You'll see in a moment. This looks like the Decepticon with scary tentacles! Our machine will have makings of artificial intelligence. It will count coins on its own and show the numbers on the display. If you say artificial intelligence, I mean that I'll think. And this means we're in danger! Sammy, you're an alarmist. Better pass me that hook. If I were you, I'd be careful with any declarations. Here you go. <laughs> Sammy, don't run away. I also need rubber bands. I didn't know how many I need, so I took all of them. <laughs> As always, I needed just one. We secure it like this. And the last part is this one. It consists of covered cardboard and one hair clip that I don't need. We'll glue it here. Two, our super machine needs a test drive. What if you mix something up? Hmm, okay, let's try. One, two, three, uh -huh. da, 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 ten. Okay, and uh, now let's reset. <laughs> oh, now we can count tons of coins! <laughs> and now we will assemble the heart of our coin counter. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Sammy, I need a battery. Huh, battery? I saw it somewhere. I'll go look for it. In the meantime, we'll connect the wires like this. Terminals. And the switch to the motor and the battery. The circuit is complete. Shoo! Shoo! Mission impossible! I can't find the battery! I believe in you. Look in the closet. Guys, be very careful with the soldering tool or ask an adult to help you. Oh, what's all this? Shoo, this is all I found. Sammy, you know that's not what I need. Please search some more. Guys, let's support Sam. Give him a thumbs up. Just a little bit left. This motor will bring the coin counting mechanism to life. Oh, Sam, super timing. Look what I've got. Let's test our mechanism. Wow, so this is real magic. No magic, my friend. Just science and technology. We have the two best parts of the craft ahead. Assembling and decoration. Sue, are we decorating something? <laughs> no, Sam, it's too early. I knew that was gonna work. I hoped that you'd help me cut out several parts from cardboard. So then, you are so cunning, but I know that you can't do without me. Sure thing, Sammy. And meanwhile, I'll attach the motor to its designated place. A couple more parts. And... Look! The coin will drop here. The motor rotates this wooden part. One side of it turns the counter and the other pushes the coin out. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, your intelligence is creating artificial intelligence. Isn't that ironic, Sue? Can't argue there. Why you glued it so fast? Are you sure you're not a robot? <laughs> no, Sammy. Check out what we have here. Hooray! Finally decorating. This is my shining moment. Decorate to smack it Oh, Sammy, shall we count how much money I saved? Now we definitely won't lose the count. My turn! Guys, 
Did you like our high cardboard technology? Give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button. Bye-bye. And don't trust robots. But you need to treat yourself. Uh, but I've got nothing left. I'll have to get some from Samantha. Uh-oh. Let's go around it carefully. I won't get caught in that trap again. Guys, give a thumbs up if you remember the video where Samantha made that horrible trap. Candies! Slime coming! Stop, Slime, stop right there. Stealing candies again. Even the trap is no use against them. Ouch! We need to think of something else, more secure. And what can be more secure than a safe? What can I make from... Oh, we've got lots of cardboard left. Great, let's go. Whoops. <laughs> hey everyone, Samantha is here with her incredible crafts. It's Slime Sam's channel, actually. Yeah, yeah, well, you may assist me if you like. Of course I do. Hi, wait a minute. Good, go cut these sticks into squares. I can do that. Of course you can. Right, this craft consists of many different small pieces, and I'll write the measurements on the pieces themselves for convenience, so pay attention to that. By the way, Sam shouldn't guess what I'm making this for, okay? What shouldn't Sam guess? What I'm going to ask you to do next. Well, I really have no clue. What are we making? Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. Oh no, I won't be curious, I care oh, enough, Fluffy! good for you. Right, um, I don't have any rubber bands. Get me a few. Ugh, I'm an errand slime again. But... I'm an artist. I want to create! If you grumble, I'll make this craft without you, uh, Mr. No, artist. Uh, no grumbling. I'm off. Go on. <laughs> and I'll start assembling the lock mechanism. First, I'll take this piece and cut a rectangle in it. Well, I don't think I need to remind you that you should be careful with the cutter. Fingers are quite a useful part of your body. Make sure not to cut through cardboard along one side. It'll be a door. And on the back side, we'll cut some openings for the buttons. Sam is making wooden squares for them. Hey, he hasn't brought them yet, and I've already sent him from the rubber bands. I wonder what excuse he'll come up with now. Rubber band. This is actually quite suspicious. And if Samantha's hiding something from me, maybe you know what she's hiding. Write in the comments! And I'll continue searching for the rubber bands. No idea where they are. But I can do it! But, uh, subscribe to the channel, please, to give me confidence. It feels like I've forgotten something. And the last one. These are the openings for the buttons we've made. Turn it over. Let's start making the lock. We'll need two solid sticks. They'll go right here, and three sticks with notches. The notches should be right under the button openings, like this. Let's lay them out, like this, and secure them with glue, one drop on each side of the stick. Don't glue the grid itself, it should move freely. To hold the grid in place, we'll need these pieces made of two sticks. Let's glue them in place. I'll use hot glue gun this time, it should hold really well. There. And I'll repeat the process with the second piece. The same few steps. This will allow the grid to move. And let's add a stopper to make sure the grid doesn't fall out. Great! Now let's make levers for the buttons. That's actually my secret for the mechanism. Look, these pieces are for the correct numbers that will unlock the safe. And these are for the numbers that aren't part of the code. We need to glue each of these pins to wooden squares, which Sam was supposed to bring a long time ago. Someone said Sam and wooden squares? We're here in a flash. Yeah, your flash almost blinded me. Get them here. Hmm, well done. And where are the rubber bands? Still searching. Am I supposed to look for them myself? Well, I didn't find them. Someone hid them somewhere. Someone hid them and someone can find them. For example, one slime I know. Yeah, yeah, I get the hint. I'm off. Hmm, and if we are out of rubber bands, then it won't work. Let's hope for the best. Guys, do you think rubber bands and crafts can be replaced with something else? Write in the comments. And the buttons are done. Now I'll turn it over. 
and we need to glue the frame for our code lock. I'll apply some glue to the sides of the frame. They are narrow, so they need extra attention. Carefully now, and done! Now we need to insert all buttons. I only need to come up with and remember the code. These rubber bands? Yes, well done. Go take a rest. Oh no, I can help! I've heard the word code on my way here. Which code? I can help you come up with it! Oh, manage, believe me. You can cut more cardboard pieces. Uh, I mostly do small ones, but fine. Phew, he's gone finally. I'll come up with the code quickly. Pause the video now and try to guess it by writing three numbers from 1 to 9 in the comments. I've got the code. All lever buttons are inserted and secured. Look, here are large sticks with openings. And here are the small ones. And the rubber band. I'll make a holder for the rubber band. One. And two. Let's attach it. Great! Uh, I still have no clue what you're making. Do you remember about Curiosity and a cat? Okay, I'll go play with Fluffy! Right, I'll glue the stopper that will keep the door closed, like this. Now look, if you press the right numbers, the grid moves and the door opens. And if the numbers are incorrect, the grid will stay in place and the door will remain closed. That's approximately how real code locks work, but of course, they aren't made of cardboard. However, I think a cardboard save will be enough to let Sam know what I mean. Give a thumbs up if you agree! Right, now I need to make a mechanism that will reset the code. It's a very important thing, because otherwise the code can only be entered once, and who needs that? Let's make a grid out of these shapes! I will add three drops of glue onto the grid. Now we'll need a stick with a rubber band on it and we'll glue it to the grid. To install that part into the lock mechanism, we need to glue little pieces with oval openings. I'll insert the stick into the opening and glue the second little piece. Let's add several pieces made of sticks. Now it's time for the thread. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> was it your thread? I thought it was for playing with Fluffy. You've played with it, all right? Fine. I'll cut off the fluffy end and pull the thread through the opening. I need to tie it tightly. Sam, don't just stand there. Go get a black marker. I'll need it soon. How soon? Well, I don't know. In a couple of minutes? Okay. Right, look. If you press the buttons and then pull the thread, the buttons will reset. Here is the reset button itself. Let's insert it into the opening and turn it over again. I'll pull the thread through this opening. Uh, it's almost like threading a needle. Well, maybe it's just a bit bigger. Now we'll cover it with a little box. Here we'll need special wood glue again. I will apply it to the bottom of our little box. I need to secure the thread with glue as well. Can there be too much glue? <laughs> and cut off the excess. Now we need to make holders for the rubber bands on both sides of the little box. The pieces are so small, I need to use a special tool for this step. Great, let's pull the rubber bands over. I hope it holds. Done, the bottom works. And these pieces will make a handle for opening the safe. A bit of cardboard magic. Fantastic! And on the back side, we'll glue the holders to block the door if a wrong code is entered. These pieces are so small, but without them, the code lock isn't going to work. That's right. Look, if the code is correct, the handle turns and the grid moves. And if the code is incorrect, the stopper won't allow the handle to turn. Isn't that genius? I'm so excited. I don't want to stop until I assemble the whole safe. I only need to assemble the cardboard pieces now. Here they are! And the marker too. Yes, well done. First of all, let's assemble the box that will cover the cold lock mechanism. Samantha, I think I know what you're making. And? A toy fridge. A fridge? Well, yes. 
for your doll. Not in front of the viewers. <laughs> well, you know what I'm really making here. Not for dolls at all. Right. Let's glue the box in place. Great! To make sure the door doesn't slam, we'll glue small stoppers. Pieces like these. It's gotta be a fridge! You, Mr. Fridge Lover, you'd better get me a snack from the real fridge. I've been sitting here crafting for ages. Fine. And I'll assemble the safe box itself. It's easy peasy. That's it. I only need to take the black marker and mark the parts of the code block. Reset all the numbers. And I also need to show which way the handle opens. There. I'm gonna show you the code now. Just shh, don't tell Sam. I'm applauding those of you who guessed the right combination. Samantha, the fridge is kind of empty, but I brought you something from my own stash. Give them here. Oh, thank you, dear Sam. And? And that's it. Now these are mine. They are in the safe with a code lock, but I'm not going to tell you the code. But I've been helping you! But you've been stealing my candies. One, two, three. <laughs> Doesn't work! Oh, I need to try more combinations! Okay, come on! Come on! Open up! I'll try again. While I'm trying to guess the code, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. I'll talk Samantha into making another interesting thing. Or should I ask you? What do you think? Phew, what a day! I need to lie down for a few minutes to regain some energy. Huh? What's this? <gasps> How did they get here? Huh, I need to ask Sam. Huh? <gasps> oh! Looks like our house is gradually turning into one big coin box. Sam, we need to talk. <laughs> What's all this? I know these are coins, but what are they doing under the pillow and in my shoe? Uh, I forgot to warn you that I'm saving money for a super purchase! Saving money in my sneakers? Those are my hiding spots! But there's a problem… The problem is that those sneakers are not a coin box! No! I keep forgetting where I put the money. I think I know how to help you. <laughs> Come on. I suggest making a money bank for your coins. Then you won't forget where you put your savings. Ugh, no! Money banks are so boring! Old-fashioned! Um, I haven't finished yet. It will be an automatic money box. And very fun. Will it automatically steal my money? <laughs> Almost. Will it automatically give my money back? If it gives you your money back, you will never have the sum you need. Perhaps you're right. Now we need to draw an outline on the cardboard. To draw some teeth. Did I hear right? You're drawing teeth? You mean this toothy money box will munch my coins? Oh, don't forget that these are cardboard teeth. They're drawn. Does it matter? These jaws look fearsome like a shark. <laughs> uh, um, a little bit more. There. Ew, it looks scary! Don't worry, it's your future money box. The toothy guy can rest for now, and I'm going to need this lid. That's where the money will fall. I'll unscrew the lid for now. And insert the plastic piece into the box. Right into this opening. I need to screw it in carefully. And put the lid back on. Perfect! See? 
Hey Sam, could you please help me cut out these pieces for the teeth? Sure, sure. I knew you couldn't do without me. To make the teeth snowy white, we won't paint them. Just glue some paper over them. Take them! Quickly! Before the glue dries out! Carefully now. And repeat on the other side. There. <laughs> this smile is as white as a toothpaste commercial. Pour like in a shark! Now we're going to repeat the trick with paper. And we'll cover the whole box with green paper. Be careful with the corners. It's best to use self-adhesive paper here. Go nice and slow to avoid any bubbles under the paper. You didn't say which size the eyes should be. That's why I cut out a lot of them. Oh, these will do perfectly. Yes, <laughs> they look great. They look kind of evil. Well, it'll have to scare strangers away from your treasures. So I think it's just the right look. This won't do. Let's make stands from cardboard. They'll keep our money box stable. And there. Perfect, see? Sue, can I make a toy for Fluffy out of this thing? Oh no! We need this thing for our money box. I'll get something else. Now we can start making the mechanism for our automatic money box. I need to bend this wire a few times. Be careful with pliers, guys. It needs some effort. This is what we get. Now I need to secure the wire inside the money box in the openings I made in advance. There you go! Aha! Looking good! Guys, I hope you're watching my videos attentively! If you do, watch this video to the end and write how many coins I used in this video! Sam, that seems like a difficult task! I'm sure our viewers can do it! Now comes the most interesting and difficult part. First, I'll draw an outline on this wooden stick. No ruler needed. Oh! I almost forgot! I need to make an opening. Ask an adult to help you with the drill. There. Be careful! <laughs> Why are you wearing glasses? To stay safe, of course. Oh. Let's attach this piece to the motor. Great! Now let's start assembling. I'll remove this piece so it won't get in the way. But we'll need it later. And I'll glue the cardboard base here. It'll hold the motor with the wires. Carefully now. And there. Perfect. It should look like this. Where am I going to throw my coins? Into the mouth? We'll make a special arm. A money box with arms and teeth? Oh no. I'll need these two cardboard pieces and also these half circle pieces of foil with wires attached to them. And we need to put them together like this. This is the money receiver we made. And moving on to the arms. I'll measure 4.5 centimeters on these wooden sticks. Now we really do need the ruler. <laughs> and I'll make a cut. Not actually a cut. I'll use a file for that and make a dent. Not all the way through, see? And you get this kind of bend. I'll apply some glue along the bend to make it sturdier. Could you make these for me as well? What for? Well, I don't know. I'll scratch Fluffy with them. <laughs> I'll think about it. Let's assemble our machine now. One arm. And the other one. Just put them on the wire. There. I should secure it with glue, just in case. And now it's time to attach the coin receiver. Don't be shy with the glue. It should hold really well. And I think it looks good! Let's hide all of these wires inside the box. One… Yeah. Whew. Working with wires can be difficult. But the results are totally worth it. And the other one… Nice and slow. We need to add an accumulator to make our mechanism work. There. We only need to connect it now. Huh. There are so many wires in here. Huh. Let's see. Look! 
I decorated our money box with these ridges. Now it's even more fearsome. No thief will dare touch Sam's coins. And I also connected all the wires inside the box. Now I only need to cover all the insides with cardboard. We have to make sure the coins don't fall inside. Some glue should help secure it. But not too much. Yes! Perfect! And I need to attach the arms to the wires. On both sides. Done! Hey Sam, come give this money machine a try! Coming! Oh. Aw, <laughs> let me try. <gasps> Yay, it works! Do it again! I'll start with the smallest one. <laughs> awesome! More. Yay! Oh, this is so cool! Wow! And the biggest one. Yes! Now three small ones. Wow! Awesome! Okay, two middle-sized ones. And... <gasps> oh, amazing! Oh, let me try! <gasps> oh, it's awesome! Hey guys, do you like our new machine? Tell your friends about our channel and give this video lots of thumbs ups! Bye! He crawled out from under the canvas and scanned the cavernous space for some place to hide. A voice spoke, chillingly close. Do not move! Oh! Oh, my Beta! Did you hear that? The time has come! We need to hide it! I need to keep the secret! What? Oh, no time to explain! Just believe me! Did he do something again? Are you with me? Yes, but I have no idea what you're dragging us into. Can't you see? This scroll is a great secret. We need to hide it before... Before what? Before he comes! Oh no, this is no good. Oh... Yeah. This should help. I think it'll work. You'll eat them and then everyone will see the scroll. Oh, you're right. I need to find a place. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, hurry, Sue. Hide the scroll among the books. Sammy, I'm afraid this is too obvious. Besides, the scroll can get crumpled. Wait. I'm sure I've seen it here. Oh, where was it? Huh. I don't think you fully understand how serious this is. No time for reading. Found it. Chapter 47. Cryptex. It's a combination of cryptography and codex, an apt title for this device that used the science of cryptology to protect information written on the contained scroll or codex. I don't get it, Sue. It's nonsense. It's exactly what we need, Sam. Sam? I heard you the first time! We should make a cryptex, the only thing to protect the secret! Do you know how? Are you sure? I think I do. It's better to give it a try than to hide under the blanket. Right. It's too dark and hot in there. Let's start. Sam, join me! Are you sure you need me? Absolutely sure. Together, we'll do it faster. Aren't you worried about me? Why is it only me who stays vigilant? All the rest only want to have fun. What are you muttering? You better greet our viewers. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Guys, today we're up for a really serious task. You'd better ask an adult to help you. First, because we're going to be working with sharp tools. Be very careful. We need to cut along the surface of the cardboard lightly. Without cutting it through. And done. Look. The cardboard became flexible. Sue, 
I think I can hide the scroll in here! Sammy, it's just the beginning. I promise we'll hide it so that nobody can find it. And now help me, bring me a lot of glue sticks, please, because we'll need a lot of glue today. But I, but, oh, fine, I'll be right back. Guys, be careful, it's another sharp item. Ask an adult to help you. By the way, who helps you with your difficult crafts more often? Your parents or siblings or older friends? Write in the comments. Oh my, I only stepped away for a minute. I'm telling you, nobody in this house can be trusted with keeping secrets safe. Sam, careful, it isn't safe here, but it's not about secrets, it's about a compass, a knife, and scissors. Still, knives are nothing compared to secrets. And our secrets will be completely safe soon. I don't know, Sue. You're making the safe out of cardboard. Shouldn't safes be metal? I saw that in spy movies. Sam, then it'll be clear we're hiding something. And this will create an impression that we don't have anything like that in the house. <laughs> Indeed. Very clever. You know, the first safes were found in 13th century BC in Egyptian pyramids. Among the mummies? That's right, in the pharaoh tomb, for example. And the first locks were created by the Romans in the beginning of the new era. So complicated that nobody could create anything better for a thousand years. Wow, but thieves had a thousand years to learn how to break them. Yes, that's why safes were created. Though, when safes first appeared, they were so rare and valuable themselves that they were often valued more than anything inside them. So the thieves didn't have to break them, they just carried them away. <laughs> and here, another line there. So what if somebody carries our crypt cryptex away? No, no, Sammy, we'll set a complicated code. Nobody will be able to crack it. It's cool that we're going to have this awesome crap, crap, it's safe, but it looks so complicated. So many details. When you were teaching me to write spy letters, it was much easier and clear. That's so nice of you that you remember that. Guys, do you remember how we wrote secret messages with milk and lemon? Give a thumbs up if you saw that video. And if you didn't, <laughs> go watch it. Huh, this is a bit more complicated but very fun to make. Look, Sam, these pieces are ready. And what do I do with the scroll until the cryptex is done? Well, you can unfold it and read what it says, for example. Oh my god, Sue! You should pay more attention to what you read. It was made clear. We shouldn't know too much. That's clever. All right, we'll make little cuts here. One and two. And remove this part. Thanks, I can use this. Uh, what for? I can protect myself if needed. Well, I can protect you too. We're best friends after all. Is it finished yet? Not quite, but we're almost there. Susie, if the first safes were found so long ago, this creep rip text is ancient too? Oh no, Sammy. Actually, it was made up by the author of the Da Vinci Code, the word and the portable safe itself. Uh oh, so we want to hide my precious scroll and things simply described by a book? Don't worry, Sammy. After the book was out, these cryptexes were made in real life and tried. So it's reliable. Oh, well, fine. When the danger is over, I'll keep other valuable things in there. Things? Uh, <laughs> what things? Come on, Sue. Candies, of course. Indeed. And which candies will you put into a cryptex? Your favorite Skittles and M&Ms? Ugh, Sue, why would anyone keep that in a cryptex? Leave it to Samantha to keep ordinary sweets in a safe away from me. Then what? I have no clue. I need to think. Guys, which things would you keep in a cryptex? Write in the comments. Is it finished? It is, Mr. Sweet Tooth. Are you ready to come up with a code? Yes! I want it to be the most difficult code in the world! No, wait. I shouldn't know it. And neither should you. Close your eyes and set a random number. Sam, I had no idea you were so cautious. But how are we going to use it? You wanted to keep candies in here. Oh, it's horrible! Help! Sue, where's the scroll? Did you hide it? No, Sam, I was setting the code. Look, this one should do. Yes, yes, great code, but the scroll, it was here all this time! Where did it go? Did we lose it for good? No, can't be, I saw it too. <gasps> Wait, I think 
here. <gasps> How did this get here? Huh. Uh, yes, here it is. Sorry, Sammy. It looks like I brushed it off the table with the rubbish when I was making the cryptex. Sorry. Huh. And someone says it's always me who's making a mess. <laughs> Starting today, Sam, you will be the main keeper of peace and order in the house. Huh. What does that mean? Well, you'll keep the territory safe and all the valuables, too. You mean candies? I'd be happy to. And also tidy up everywhere. Oh, it's great, Sue, but you're a great keeper yourself. <laughs> and this is our crypt text, so you help to save us all, too. <laughs> I appreciate your praise, Sammy, but we aren't finished yet. We need to make sure everything works. Okay, look. To open our safe, you need to set the correct code. There. This is the part where we'll keep things safe. The scroll, in our case. Hop. In you go, mystery scroll. <laughs> These wooden pieces act like a locking mechanism. Let's put it back carefully. Now, if the code is incorrect, let's say, um, this number. Uh-huh. And this. The number of combinations is endless here. The cryptex won't open. See? No code, no scroll. But the right code opens the cryptex easily. Just don't tell this code to Sam's enemy. I'm not even sure who he's hiding this scroll from. <laughs> and there. Aha. Ta-da. And I'll scramble the numbers again. Okay. Eight, six, nine. See? <laughs> it works every time. Yay. Ah, now I can stop worrying about my scroll. Well, well, well. It looks really secure. Great job, Susie. Uh-huh. All right. Yahoo! Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's one complicated story. Guys, have you ever been impressed by books like Sam? Write in the comments which stories have impressed you the most and support Sammy with a thumbs up. Right. Let's see. Um. So, what's up with all this mess, huh? I'm just looking for one important note. Yeah, and you had to make a mess on the table for that. Uh, what's this weird piece of paper? Oh, there it is. I need to check quickly. No, but what about? Ah, <sighs> uh, yes. So, what's this? I haven't seen such things in our house before. I bought it in a vending machine at the library. I had to eat something for lunch. I had little time. <sighs> a real vending machine? Mm. Oh, I only know cardboard ones. If we make here. So, uh. so, I know these machines give out the items, but uh, how do they sort the coins, huh? Uh. Huh? Sam. <sighs> Oh, I know. There are little people inside. They take the coins and they give the items. Right? What? Wow, oh, like uh, in the Men in Black movie. I remember that, sure, but vending machines don't work like that. Then how? Well, you already saw how a machine gives out candies and chocolates, even soda. So, I only need to show you how such machines sort coins. Come! Yay! We're going to learn something new again! 
Hi guys! Today, we're going to make a coin sorting machine. From metal? Uh, no. From plastic? No, Sammy, from cardboard. But a real vending machine isn't made of cardboard. Yes, sure, but it's not that important to understand how it works. Uh, well, fine. I can agree with that. Are you gonna help me? I need to think on that. Oh! <laughs> well, alright. Think. What are you making now? I'm making a pass system for the coins, so that each coin will fall into a certain compartment. Look, this will be the first phase. To make sure the coins pass, one by one. I need to measure here. Huh. Yes. <laughs> See? Two coins won't pass. I can see that. Continue. Sammy, at least select three coins for me. 25, 5, and 1 cent. Yes! I'm going to need them now. And I'll set this piece aside. Hey, Sammy, where are the coins? Here they are! Now I understand why they need to be sorted. It's hard to find the one you need. Phew! That's right. Now, can you imagine how many coins a vending machine in a crowded place processes in a day? For example, in a library or in the subway? You can't do it without automation. So, it's better to do some work once, and then it goes smoothly afterwards. Look, each coin will have its own little window, and they will fall into their own little compartment. Perfect. Little windows? Oh, make them with your signature trick. Well, all right. And hop. Voila. Now let's glue the side walls to make sure the coins don't roll away. <laughs> I still don't get it. How will it work? Here, look. See? Only the coins of a suitable size can fall into the opening. Oh, now I'm starting to get it. Well, all right, Sue. I understand how the coins will be sorted, but, uh, how will they get into the coin tunnel? We won't push them with our hands, right? Oh, no, no, Sammy. The motor will help us with that. We're going to connect it to the battery with the help of wires. Guys, be very careful with the wires. You'd better ask an adult to help you with this stage. And to make sure we can turn the motor on and off, we'll connect this switch to it. Right. Wire goes here, and that one there. Ah, done! Now we only need to glue a small screw to the motor to create the effect we need. There. What effect? A vibration effect. Look! Oh, <laughs> it's jumping wild! So, will this help the coins get into the sorting tunnel? <laughs> That's right. Let's hide our mechanism into a cardboard case to keep it safe from damage. We'll glue the motor here. Carefully. Watch out for the wires. And the battery goes here. And walls all around. Yes, Sammy. Thanks. Huh. And you've been saying that I'm not helping you. You had a piece with a hole in it. I removed it as a faulty one. Oh no, Sammy. It should have a hole. It's for the switch. So please don't throw that piece away. Here. Um, look. It fits perfectly. Like this. And we'll cover it carefully. Okay, done! Sue, Sue! This has to be the trash, right? Weird pieces, leftovers, I guess. Sam, Sam, wait! No, these are very important. We need to set our case with the motor on these legs to allow the coins to fall down. See? Oh, uh... Oh, I'm just out of shape. Confusing trash with parts. Oh. Cheer up, Sammy, and bring the rest of the pieces, all right? But don't throw anything away. Will do! And we have made this structure. We only need to add the walls. Cardboard pieces delivery! Oh, wonderful, Sam. Now we're going to make the finishing piece. Which piece? Well, the containers where the coins will fall in. Vending machines store all the coins separately to give out the change very quickly. 
Oh, I see. Tell me, Susie, do all vending machines sort coins by size? Well, that's a basic principle. But modern machines can distinguish coins according to the metals in them and even the images on them to exclude any errors. But our sorting machine is a very basic one. So it'll sort coins only according to its size. <laughs> oh, but it's still really awesome! Oh, Sammy, could you bring me the stickers for our containers? Just a moment! And I'll connect our sorting mechanism. I'll be quick. Ta-da! It's not ta-da without decor. You know that. Oh. Move aside, make room for the professional decorator. Sammy, maybe I should do it. You know, neatly. Well, fine. I did a lot today already. All right. 50 cents. 25. 10. And 1 cent. And on off for the switch. Is it ta-da now? Yes! Ta-da! <laughs> Start the machine! Let's place several handfuls of coins in here. Perfect. And click. Wow. They flow like a river. Oh, yeah. Look, look. They're sorted correctly. That's awesome. Now all the coins in the house will be sorted out perfectly. Will you keep it under control? Yes, ma'am. Will do, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Guys, was it interesting for you to learn how coin sorting happens? Give a thumbs up if it was. And subscribe to the channel to learn more interesting facts about our world. Bye 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 One, two. Two. One, two. D. Hit it once. Hit it twice. Move it thrice. Wow! eager to start working, you can jump right on it, and I'll join you a little later. Uh, why not? I like this idea. Well, great. Let's begin. So how does Sue usually do it? Oh, hi guys. Today we're gonna make something very interesting. An amazing cardboard safe. You prepared all the parts we need. Good for you, Sammy. You haven't seen anything yet. Turn it over. Oh, wow, look at these cute little buttons. Yes, I do that myself. They're amazing, Sammy. Now all we need to do is cut our buttons out. Remember, guys, you've got to be careful. When using sharp objects. Or ask an adult to help you. That's right, Sammy. Have you decided to do all the work for me? I just want to move things along. What's this? Wow, these are button parts. Good job, Sammy. Yeah, I know I'm cool. Thank you. What's up with Sam, guys? What do you think? He's so busy. He doesn't even want to talk about how cool he is. Huh. 
bit suspicious. Yeah! What is it, Sam? What's the matter, Sammy? Uh, I was trying to help you and I think I glued myself to this part. Oh, poor Sam. Hey guys, give a thumbs up if you want me to set him free. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Of course I'll help you. So, we keep working here on our safe buttons. Oh, hey there, Sammy. How are you feeling? Much better. It's nice to be able to move around freely. Would you like to take a break? Here's your favorite soda in the kitchen. There's no time for breaks. We have to do it, do it, do it! What's the rush? You know what they say, right? Haste makes waste. I don't rush. I'm just ever so productive. Just admit it. You can't keep up with me. Yeah, right, says mister. I just glued myself to a piece of wood. Hey, I thought we forgot all about that incident. You're right. Let's just forget about it. I've got something important here. No, 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 Sue. According to my instructions of how to make a perfect super slime safe, you are supposed to be gluing semi-round parts already. Just a moment, Sammy. First, let's see what we managed here so far. It seems to be working just fine. I love these buttons. Good job. Now let's get back to the instructions. We have the instructions, Sammy? I don't remember having them. I put them together while you were in the bathroom, Susie. You have done a lot of work this morning, Sammy. Good for you. On the other hand, it's so out of the ordinary. Sort of, that you're ever so active today. Who's active? Me? No, I'm just an ordinary slime. Yeah, right. I don't see anything unusual about a super speed-up slime. Ah! Oh, what was that? When did you make these, Sammy? Right now. I just got two circles out of cardboard with two centimeters in diameter. Glued them together and wrapped them in corrugated cardboard. You must be very tired, Sammy. Now I'm full of energy. Then maybe you could write numbers on this for me? Easy. No problem. Well, give it a go. We are writing numbers 0 to 9 here, so we can create our own password. Don't mistake the numbers! <laughs> I've got it all ready here! Wow, that was fast! Good job, Sammy! Wait, wh what? <laughs> Sammy, there are letters instead of numbers on your wheel! Uh, what? Where? Huh, maybe I do rush a little bit today, Sue. You know what, Sammy? I like it even better this way. I mean, it's our combination lock, and we can make it any way we want. Right, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree with Sue. Hey. And if you like to create interesting things, too. And we'll keep working here on our safe lock. We need to glue everything together very well, so that our lock, huh, doesn't fall apart when we hide something in the safe. Or else the safe won't be, well, you know, <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Sammy, don't you want to watch me make the lock? <laughs> Sam, what was that? I was just running around here, but missed. Yeah, I pretty much thought so. Oh, come on now. Can have a one. Okay, it's time to get serious about our lock. And make it truly reliable. I'll need your help, Sammy. I'm always at your service. <laughs> you see, Sammy, it will take a whole lot of gluing. I'd like you to help me with that, but first, I'll show you what the lock will look like from the inside. That's how our safe will work from inside. See that, Sammy? Sammy, where are you? Sue, I brought you some cup. Oh, no! Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Susie. It's okay, Sam. Uh, wait a minute. Bingo. Sam, that's why you're so active today. I think I had too much coffee. It was so good, I just couldn't stop having it. Everything in moderation, Sammy. And you'd better not have any more coffee today. While Sam's taking a break, I'll glue the last parts to the lock. We need four of these things. And boom! Now that's what I call progress. We need this thingy for our lock to close. I'll show you how it works later. We only need to put the second part in place like this. You got it? There. You see now? That's the way our lock works from inside. Howdy there. You missed me. Wow, Sam. This is something new. It's just that when I think of safes, I think of robberies and animated movies about brave sheriffs. Hmm. Let me guess. 
You must be a brave sheriff. Sheriff Sam is ready to serve you, ma'am. Could a courageous sheriff bring me a couple of rubber bands? Here they are. Thank you, Sheriff Sam. <laughs> Anything for your peace and safety, ma'am. Phew, the lock is ready. Finally, we get to the safe itself. Huh, Sue, I'd like to know your opinion. Yes, Sammy? What do you think, Sue? Does the cowboy look work for me? Huh, what if we ask our viewers? It's a great idea. Guys, give a thumbs up if a cowboy hat and the sheriff look fit me. And comment and tell us, guys, what other images Sam should try. And we'll glue this plank in the meantime. I can't wait until I can read your comments, my friends. That's true. Sam loves reading what you write. Especially when you write about him. Hey, I heard that. I'm just interested to know our audience's opinion. And not only about me. So now we are finally assembling our safe. Now it really looks like a safe. Oh, that's a horse! It's a true cowboy horse! No way, mister! <laughs> Let me finish what I started here. Listen, Sammy, have you thought of what to keep in the safe? Oh, no. How could I forget? I thought through all the instructions, but I missed the most important part! <gasps> Don't you worry, Sammy. I've got an idea. But first... Watch out! Wow! You were faster than me yet again, Sammy, my quick friend. It's just that I can't wait to get to it. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Well, let's add a couple more touches. There. And ready. Beautiful, but what are we gonna put in it? Patience, my friend. First, we should memorize the code. Look. So here we'll have the number two. And here we'll set it to D. Ta-da! The last touch. And our safe is open. I hope I won't forget the code later. Yeah, well, it's a nice joke, Sue. And here's what we'll put in our safe, Sammy. Hey, what is for someone to remember to have everything in moderation, even if it's delicious. Uh, uh, it happened only once, Sue. Great, Sammy. Let me check it once more. And it's working! We did a great job! Hooray! Hooray! It's awesome! Guys, I hope you liked making a real safe with us. Now, Sheriff Sam's gonna say goodbye to you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel! See you soon, we'll be making more cool crafts and I'll go have some coffee. <laughs> Bye now! Oh no, Sue, not coffee! <sighs>
It seems that it will be a really cool project. <laughs> right you are, Sam. Hmm, something's missing here. Uh, Sam, could you please fetch me some barbecue steaks from the kitchen? I can feel something awesome coming! <laughs> Two, there are thin and thick sticks. Which ones do you need? Uh, you can bring both. I'm back! And why do you need these sticks? You'll see. Would you like to see some magic? Sure I do! A bibbity bobbity Boo! Holy cannoli! My turn! Whoosh! <gasps> oh, wow! <sighs> That's even better. Oh, that slime sweet tooth. So we have to install bicycle spoke fragments into pen pieces. Just like this. Already done. Wow, that looks great, Sammy. Now we need to tape the handles. Okay, Sue, so could you please do it yourself? This tape, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, Sammy. Can you even imagine how many different tapes there are in the world? Hmm. Now we measure the necessary length on popsicle sticks. We need two similar parts. It's good that I like ice cream. Otherwise, we would be short on sticks. <laughs> right. We couldn't do it without you, Sammy. The stick goes here. Hmm, what is it? Patience, you'll know soon. Oh. And here we insert our pen into this part like this. Looks like, um, what actually is it, Sue? So we measure a circle with the compass. We will need two of those and a smaller one. Sam, do you want to cut out the circle? <laughs> no, this is way too easy for me. Oh, would you look at him? Then maybe you can help me stick them to each other? <laughs> Leave it to a true master. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. I am sure you will need this. Oh, thanks, Sammy. You are 100% right. Well, what did I say? Professionals always have everything on hand. <laughs> Two, are you sure that in the end we will have a piggy bank and not a car? Of course, Sammy. Look, Sam, we have a challenge here. Can you tackle it? Sure. I can even do it with my eyes closed. You are doing such a great job, Sam. A real pro. Oh, yes, that's me. Um, be careful with the cutter, Sam. Whatever, I'm a pro. Did you forget? Sam, since you want to store cash as well, are you saving for something big? Uh, don't ask me. Otherwise, I'll tell you and the surprise will be ruined. Okay, okay, I won't. Here, you have to be careful since we need to cut only the upper and middle cardboard layer. This is a peculiar piggy bank. I'm very excited to use it. Just a little more patient. It'll be ready soon. Uh, a piggy bank with windows? This looks even cooler than the magical one. Really? I think that the magical piggy bank was very beautiful. Could you please pass me the pencil so I can fold this piece nicely? Here you go. Let's wrap this piece around the pencil. Just look how nice it is. And now we stick it right here. Guys, don't forget about safety when working with glue guns. One can easily get burned. I'm not afraid of anything, but I still trust you with such things. Uh, what happened, Sue? Uh, Is something missing? Yes, two round pieces of cardboard. Could they be in the box? Uh, they were on the floor, but I picked them up. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Sue, that looks familiar. Those wheels with sticks inside. I'm sure I've seen it before. Seriously? Where? I'm thinking, thinking, trying to remember. You'll remember it for sure. See, there's a handle here. You can spin it if you like. I'm also sure that I have spinned something like this before. Wow, we have constructed almost the same thing for one of our money banks. Oh, yeah. That was a good money bank. By the way, where is it? It, it is... Somewhere is saving money. That's what it's made for. Well, I hope that's so. Look how cool it is. Wanna try? It is fun to turn this handle, but I would like to start saving money. For the next step, I made these thingies. It looks like a little swing. Are we making a playground for money? A swing, you say? I call it a trampoline. 
rather than a swing. Trampoline! I want to jump on one of those. Me too. I could play on those all day long. Now the rubber band goes into this little hook. It's to wait until the glue is dried. But we can always stick it once more. Sure, but it's better when things are working the first try. Do you want to see how the coins will jump on our trampoline? Absolutely! Oh boy, that's awesome! Now it's looking more like a real piggy bank. A bit weird though. I can't wait to see it! Well, you asked me for an unusual one for coins and cash, so nothing's weird here. However, I might surprise you now. Sam, remember when you wanted to be a spy? Oh, sure. Why are you asking me about it now? Because we'll make a spy combination lock. Wow! And it'll even have a code? Of course! Not a hard one. Really easy to remember. I already thought I would have to carry around a paper with a password. Sammy, could you please help me one more time? Make a snip right here. I'm on it. Done! That was a piece of cake. Good job! Look what I made. It would serve as the second part for our lock. Sam, which letter is your favorite? The letter C for candy! You know it perfectly well. Awesome! Then we'll use it. But don't tell anyone. Now we'll stick the back part to our piggy bank. Only the lock support is left. And voila! The piggy bank is done! So, did you just say that the piggy bank is done? I sure did! I forgot! So <laughs> I'm just kidding, we can't do it without the decoration. Phew! Susie, don't scare me like that! A craft without a decoration? Well, you know. I do, I do. Boom! Now the mission is complete! Let's test it! Come on, Susie! Hurry up and put my money in there so I can start saving! No problem! Wait, what's this? Aw, what a nice LOL set! Oh, oh no! You should have seen it! I, I wanted to buy it for you as a present! Aw, that's why you're saving the money? You're so <laughs> sweet, Sammy! Ah, uh, Sue, you're my best friend, and I wanted to make you happy. Then let's fill our piggy bank quick to get happy together! In it goes! Wow! And a coin. <laughs> Some more. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, boop. Oh, it's a great start. Guys, if you would like to see the unpacking of this LOL set when I save enough money, please write in the comments below. Don't forget to click the bell button not to miss our next video. And if you like our brand new piggy bank, click the like button. Bye, guys! See you soon! I think it's alright if Sam saves for this LOL set a little faster. Good deeds should be rewarded. What is it? I can't tell you! It's a surprise! I don't see a problem. Just hide it and don't tell me where. No, no. I need to hide it from myself, too! Or I might not wait and take it out before it's time! Okay. I have no idea what's happening, but I'll help you. Hey, 
guys. For today's craft, I'll need lots of cardboard. What are we making? We'll make a safe, Sam. A safe? Phew, we already made a safe and a crypt text. I know how they work. I'll just crack the code and open it. Do you remember the videos with the safe and the crypt text? Give a thumbs up if you do. It's not just any safe. It has three levels of protection. I'll have the code, and you'll have the key. And we'll start with the combination lock. We'll need four cardboard circles with two centimeters in the diameter. One's done, and here's three more. I'll make one circle out of two so it's easier to spin it. Careful here. We'll be rotating it when entering the code. Let's wrap the edge of the circle carefully so it's more convenient and pretty. Zero, one, two, three. It's just ten digits. What if I guess the code? I really don't think so. We will make five combination locks. Now turn away. I need to think of a good code combination. Hmm, I wonder what it is she will think of. My birthday or hers? This part is a bit bigger in diameter. It'll keep the door closed if the wrong digit is set. What code to set? Huh, I know. This funny part will be the front of the safe, and that's where the locks will be. Let's make some holes for them. And here, the top combination locks will go. Let's set two digits. And I will attach these parts to the other side. I want it to work really well. Right, guys? <laughs> and here, very neatly, glue the parts together. <laughs> Can I turn back already? Just a little longer. I'll make three more locks out of circles that are three centimeters in radius. These locks will work differently. That's why we draw the digits like this on a different side. And to open the safe, you'll need to know three more digits. Not that simple. Now I have to connect these four parts together before attaching them to the safe. Oh, how interesting! I will definitely try to crack your code! <laughs> you can try! A three-digit lock can have 1,000 combinations! We'll attach these three locks to the same front wall. Only a little bit left. Hmm, what code should I set here? Uh-huh. Uh, yes! <laughs> and now let's secure these parts that are two centimeters in radius. Now the lock will only open with the right code. The bolt will be moving on these sticks. And it'll be located here. I'll glue it to the front right above the revolving parts. And add another support stick for the bolt so it doesn't fall down. These little parts will let us open and close the lock with the correct code. We'll set them right here on the bolt. Oh! I'm too impatient to just stand here and wait. I'll go check on my surprise! This part will prevent the bolt from leaving the safe area. The rubber band will let it get back into place. Now, the key will only move the bolt if the code is entered correctly. You can look now, Sam. Uh, Sam? Sam! Where did you go? One sec, let me just check something. But we're getting to the most interesting part. Uh, oh, I'll be right back. Sam's acting really weird. Guys, what do you think he's up to? Write your guess in the comments. I'm back. Everything is fine. Great. Now, Sammy, we'll make the key that you will hold on to. My precious! Give it to me, or you'll be able to open my safe. Wait. We'll need it for later to check if everything works. So much waiting. I bet you can't wait to see our save either, guys. Give a thumbs up if I'm right. Be patient, Sammy. These parts will be able to keep the key in the keyhole. Like this. Now I'll need the key to check if our system is working. <gasps> awesome! It works great! Look, Sammy! I can finally get my key back! Not yet. I'll need it for another lock. Another lock? Yep. We have five combination locks, and we also need to hide them behind the key locks. Let's make this part. I'll let the key grant access to the top two combination locks. I need a rubber band, and 
and attaching it here. And one more part for the support. Gotta be careful. And glue it right here. And pull the rubber band to the side, like this. Now everything starts with your key. I just need to finish the front of the safe and build the body. And you bring whatever you need to hide. Awesome! Finally! I'll go get it, but don't you peep. Let's add some decorations to our safe. I said decorations! Sam! Huh. Usually he runs when he hears this word. Oh well. Do, 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 do. It's time to put the safe together. This part will be the bottom. I'll attach the door with the locks right here in the middle. Just a drop of glue. These hooks won't let you open three bottom locks unless the code is entered on the top. And one more. The last three locks will be hidden behind this door. And this is how it works. This is the side wall. Let me glue it to the bottom. And it has two doors. This door is opened by the key, and there are two combination locks behind it. And the keyhole for Sam's key is behind the second door. Here I am! Is everything ready? One minute, Sammy. I need to attach the most important part while you'll be storing your items and also the walls. This door can only be opened if you know the combination and have the key. I have the key and it's so pretty! Guys, did you see Sue's code? Write me in the comments! <gasps> Sam! Sorry, I can't wait to get my surprise inside! I'll set up the bottom and the wall. Here you'll be keeping your things. Cool. I think it'll be dark enough. Enough for what? Nothing, nothing. <sighs> and the back is ready. And let's get the top in place. Done! Our safe is ready! Wow! So wonderful! So cool! And secure. Should we open it to hide your surprise? Let's turning and opening! Yay! Now turn away. I'll enter the code. Oh my! Turning again! What was the code? Aha! Mm -hmm. Done. So awesome! <laughs> it won't open! <laughs> of course! Uh, wait, that's not it. Uh, turn away! We have three more locks. Here. Now I need your key, Sammy. Finally! Thank you. Let's see here. And turn. And now you can put whatever you want in here. Now you turn away. Fine. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Now we close it. Okay, Sammy. Now I just need to do the same, but in reverse order. It's so cool, guys. I feel like I'm walking away something very valuable. And I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> guys, what would you store in a safe? Write a comment below. It's been two weeks! We can open the safe now and see what happens! Sam, what's that? Take it out and see! Uh, are these raisins? Yes! Two weeks ago, I put away grapes. And now they've become yummy sweet raisins! <laughs> so yummy! I was afraid I'd eat it before it was ready. <laughs> That's why the save. Mmm, it really is delicious. 
So, did you like the safe, Sammy? Very much so. In so many different locks. You'll never open it without the code and the key. Do you guys like the safe? Write in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel to see our new crafts. Bye-bye. Mmm, so tasty. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget a thumbs up. the sofa. Ugh, I need to count them again. But the flight was spectacular. Do you remember how we made a counting machine for coins? And? Can we make the same one for cash? Huh. Easy peasy. Bring the cardboard. Hi, everyone. Today is a great day to make a real counting machine for cash from cardboard. And will I be able to turn the fan on whenever I want? Well, sure you will. But not to blow away all the cash again. First, we need to cut out a part like this. It will be the base for our counting machine. Guys, be careful with the cutter. A king of cardboard and master of cutting is always ready. Give me a task. Of course. There are more sheets with outline parts. Can you do it? That's no biggie. Start the countdown. Hmm. Let's add some color. Huh? Up, up, here. Great, it's time to glue. But be careful with hot glue, guys. And this wall goes right here. I still don't get it, Sue. Why do we need these holes? Don't worry, Sammy. Soon you'll see. Sue, I have one more question. Why is there a red square in the center? This looks suspicious to me. So I would be grateful if you could share this info with me. <sighs> Sam, you're rushing as always. We'll need to glue another wall. Let's apply the glue carefully on this fold. There we go. Aha! Right. This goes here carefully. Wait, Susie, I got it. Here, we'll place the mechanism. That's right. I love mechanism. And you guys, do you love them? Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Wow, so cool! Oh, Sammy, I see you already found the next part of our craft. So let's add some glue to its surface. And this spring goes right here. I'm taking care of not only the parts, but I'm also thinking about decor. Oh? I can't wait to find out about your ideas. Your decor always makes our craft super cool. But for now, fetch the wooden skewers, please. We'll need them soon, too. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't slip, my friend. The skewers are delivered with the speed of light. Thumbs up for me. More! Great, Sammy. And just in time. Now, using the skewers, we'll be able to fix everything here like this. Dear viewers, the secret of the mysterious cuts is revealed. No, oh, Sammy, I can't hide anything from you. We'll cut off the excess here. Guys, remember about safety while working with pliers. Oh, I shove it worse! This is so much fun, too! <laughs> but that's not all. We also need to attach this thingy on top. And add more glue. Don't forget about this side, too. And another part. We'll attach it carefully. To load the cache here, we'll need to push like this. Cool, right? 
Hey, Sue, look what I made. Whoa, Sammy, you're a wonder. I did my best. Guys, this is one of the most important parts of our machine, the roller. Look, thanks to these wheels, our roller will spin. And these rubber bands will pick up the banknotes one by one. And how will this roller spin? Shall we do it manually? Of course not. We'll attach it to these motors from each side. Let's use our trusty hot glue. It will hold the motor really well. There you go. And let's repeat it on the other side. Sue, I made another wheel and applied some glue. Cool, Sammy. This small wheel will spin the big one, but soon you'll see everything for yourself. A small part of a big mechanism. <laughs> Sammy, you're a philosopher. <laughs> Come on, turn the motors already. Wait, Mr. In a hurry, we still haven't connected them to the batteries. Oh, right. Guys, we'll use some editing magic. And you can ask an adult help with wires. And... Kazam! It's just a guess. Let's move on. We'll need these for the next step. My parts are also ready. Great, Sammy. Look, guys, these tubes are made of paper. One is thicker and another one is really thin. Now let's use what I prepared. We'll put the rubber bands on the roller like this. Hi, the mozzarella. This looks like a lollipop. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. <laughs> a little. I think it's time for someone to go fetch some Oreos. You'll miss the most interesting part. Whoosh! Oh, what did I miss? Well, just a little bit of magic. Oh, magic or sweet. It's always a hard choice. We need to glue another motor from one side. Oh, we have so many motors today! They won't be spinning too fast, will they, Susie? We'll prevent it. With the help of this controller, Sammy. Hop. We just need to attach the last tube to the body. But first, we need to attach it to this simple cardboard part. With the help of a wooden skewer. Just like this. We'll cut off the excess. Mm -hmm. Snap. And using hot glue, we'll attach it to the main mechanism. Oh, when will we test our mechanism? I can't wait to start counting my precious money. <laughs> A few more moments, Sammy. We still need to attach the button. Now let's connect all the wires. <laughs> Speaking scientifically, complete the circuit. Let's insert the button into this part. And then attach it to the body. Sammy, perfect timing. We'll place this here. Here we go. Awesome! Sammy, check it out! Wait, I still don't know how many bills I loaded into our machine. Who's gonna count them? Oh, right, Sammy. We must complete our craft by adding a simple mechanism that will show the exact amount of cash. More cardboard! Now we'll need a part like this. Look, we've already inserted pieces of tubes here. It showed the mechanism part can spin easily. Yes, Sammy. You're totally right. Now we'll use these circles of different sizes to make small wheels. Let's insert a wooden skewer into the hole. We'll add some glue to the center. And on the edges to make it sturdier. More glue! I want this machine to surf for ages! <laughs> okay, Sammy. Now we'll attach this part to the base of the counting machine and a small wheel on the other side. It was made by Sam, our expert in small wheels. <gasps> Looks like a kebab. Mm, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to finish this counting machine. Then we'll know for sure how many real kebabs we can buy. Then we'll need to cut out these parts real quick. Leave it to me. I have a black belt in cardboard cutting. Hi ah! There you go. <laughs> oh, you're so cool, Sammy. Thank you, thank you. Whoosh. Hey, Susie, can I connect these parts? Sure, Sammy. And I'll finish our main wheel. Here we'll have the measuring scale. We'll glue a paper strip here. Carefully, don't rush here. 
done. Da -da 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 -da. Awesome, Sammy. We'll add it to my part. Up. Great. Hey, mechanism lover, how about making everything spin here? Snap. Ah. Another one. Mm. I'll make them spin and move. Just like cogs in a Swiss watch. Ta-da! Sammy! Hi, bring me the pencil, please. Here it is. Thanks. Now your task, Sammy, is to lightly push this button, and as soon as this tube makes a full turn, I'll mark it. Ready? Sure I am. You know that pushing buttons is totally my thing. <laughs> Don't rush. Here we go. Tap. Stop. Oh! Stop. Like this. Here. Everything's ready. Susan! Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. That's right. We need the decor. Yay! So I worked on it in the breaks between helping you and... <laughs> Such cool decor. But it reminds me of something. What could it be? Mm, something not really connected to finance? Well, I was thinking. It's our brain that counts things, right? Right. And who likes brains most of all? Um, zombies? Yes, too! Zombies! So my decor reflects it. I don't quite get your logic, but okay. Huh. Oh, Sue, help! There's a hand on my head! Just kidding, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's coming out really cool! Yes, it was made by a master decorator. Hooray! It's finally done! Are you ready to find out how rich you are? Are you kidding me? I'm always ready to count money. But it's important to have something to count, right, Sammy? Lunch. Oh, I could watch this forever. Hail the great Timmy Dava, it's working! Wait a sec. I thought I had more money. Maybe a zombie took some. Are you sure? Huh, right. I remember now. I bought a big package of Oreos, made them with milk. Mmm, Oreos sounds great. I'm actually hungry. Well, I mean, I already ate them all. <gasps> Sammy! Don't worry, Susie. I'll buy more in a moment. Uh, I'll just take this. Oh, this naughty slime. And you guys, subscribe to our channel and make crafts together with us. Bye-bye! Mission Candies is on! Whoa! I am close to the aim! I located the target! I hear the steps! Fall back! Oh, I forgot to hide them! Good timing, Sam didn't manage to get them yet. No! Mission failed! Oh, Sammy! Were you hunting the candies? I knew it! I was so close, I could already smell the chocolate! Hmm. I guess I need a super safe. You have me and super cardboard. Let's do it! All right! And I will find out the secret of this safe and rescue candies from it! Hi, guys! I realized that without a safe, I can't save the candies! Sammy is such a sweet tooth. Not very healthy, mind you, but that's our Sammy. Gossiping <sighs> about me? Oh, hi, guys! <laughs> Why gossiping? I'm just sharing my thoughts with our viewers. Guys, give a thumbs up to confirm it. What you doing now? I'll write it down not to miss anything. Oh, you're so focused. Can I borrow the pencil? You already took it! Why do you need it? I need to make telescopic tubes from paper. They'll work in the lock of our future safe. Aha! Uh -huh, interesting! Guys, do you recognize that intonation? He's up to something. 
We need to figure it out and fast. Do you enjoy following Sam's pranks? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel! Done! By the way, now I'm making the most important part. The safe lock. Shoo! I made these circles. You'll need them. Yes, great! But I need to upgrade them a bit. Pass me the cutter. And what are you gonna make from these parts? Something important? Something connected to secrets and safety? Well, we'll need this for the lock. Watch closely. By the way, guys, the knife is a very dangerous tool. Be careful with it or ask an adult to help. I won't miss a single move of yours. <laughs> I know that you won't, because you plan to open my safe later and take away all the candies that I'm going to hide there. Shiver me shutters! Mission failed! She found out! <laughs> That's because I'm a spy too. Were you trying to trick me? Guys, did you notice that the holes are different sizes? Their diameter matches the size of these tubes. That's how it should be. Now we're going to attach these cardboard thingies. This part should have two squares. One on this side. We glue it to the right spot. So several spinning parts of our lock are ready. And now comes an important step. Watch closely. The work of the lock fully relies on it. We cut carefully not to crumple it. Now place the tube here. Great! And glue it carefully. Watch out. The glue gun is very hot. We glue the tubes to each of the three cardboard parts. Super solid. Sammy, there's an important phase going on and you're not here! I'm always here. You just didn't notice me because I'm a real special agent. I heard you wrestling behind the plant. You need to work on your camouflage. Huh. Got it. Now tell me what you're up to. I'm assembling the combination number lock. Just the mechanism for now. Check it out. All safes work according to this similar principle. Hooray! Now I know how this lock is functioning, the candies will be mine! Well, it's not enough to know the mechanism, you need to know the password, too! Oopsie, I forgot about it. Actually, we prepared just one part of the lock. Now we will get to the part that will connect the combination number part with the main shutters. A safe is a very delicate mechanism, even though it looks very solid. There are four types of safe locks. Key, mechanic, and electronic combination number, plus some unusual ones. For example, those that analyze fingerprints to open. <laughs> and we will have a regular mechanical combination number lock. Actually, we almost finished assembling the main mechanism. I just need to cut off the edges of our parts. Hop. Hop. I made this exactly the way you asked. A long, flexible tape with lots of holes. Yep, the holes look good. Now you can glue the round body. But be careful with the glue. I won't scrape it off your glasses again. I know how to handle tools, partner. <laughs> Agent 00 Sam. <laughs> Guys, did you know that Agent 007 was based on 10 different people? All of them were spies, agents of the British intelligence and soldiers. Ian Fleming wrote his books according to their stories, and there were 25 movies about James Bond. All of them are super interesting. <laughs> I really like them. I'll do some magic here. Let's see. Voila! Done! And there's a whole YouTube channel about Agent 00 Sam. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. We still have many adventures and crafts ahead. Thanks, Sammy. Great timing, as always. This will be a solid and secure door. Actually, did you notice that safes always have a valve-like handle? And it needs to turn to open the door. You can't do it without a password. The safe just won't open. What do you mean, won't open? I can't take out the candies from there. If I don't tell you the password, or if you don't learn it using your spy tricks. But I'm not sure that's even possible, since I don't know the password yet. <laughs> so you're hiding something. Oh, we will set the password after we put everything together. And meanwhile, I finished assembling the shutter mechanism part. I just need to glue it. Sammy, don't run away. I need a bit of magic. Can you copy this piece? Easy peasy, watch and learn. Come upon us, craft and magic. Done, I'm off. Sammy, wait, we need six more. 
You should have told me this earlier. Boom, kara boom, bingo crap. No problem. Super magic. Now let's install everything in place. Wait, I need to cast another spell. Bibbity bobbity subscribity. Nine. Now for sure. Awesome. Let's proceed. We'll insert the parts carefully into the openings. This craft reminds me more of a bank vault. With mountains of gold behind metal walls. Not of gold, but of caramel and cream. Sammy, are you spying again? But this time I didn't hear you coming. Great job. Yep, I'm almost like a fox. Shoot, I'll improve my skill. Look, I made the lockup door and a secure lock. Oh, I guess I'll never reach the candy! Mission impossible! We made the most important part of our future candy storage. Plus, I assembled a few more parts from cardboard. Now, we need to put them together. Hmm. I hope Sammy will manage the task I gave him. <sighs> he has to make a really big wheel. But... Sam is a master of cardboard. <laughs> I can trust him. I'm a super special agent. I have brilliant hand-eye coordination. That's right. And a super cardboard decor specialist. I've known it for ages. Do you want me to cut out the body for your safe? Of course I do. I'm on it. It's high time to set the password. There's still a chance that my candies will be safe. Sam almost learned how to move unnoticed, so extra caution won't hurt. We'll catch him now. Aha! Huh. He's really busy with the cardboard. Here comes the most interesting part. We set the password. And... Click! We did it! Oh, yes! Now I know the password and she was not aware that I know. <laughs> Here comes the wheel. What is that strange sound? It seems to be coming from the bush. Oopsie. Time to fall back. Sam with this spy games makes me suspicious. The door is ready. Let's test the lock. While Sam is very busy with cardboard. I'll show you how it works. First, we turn it in this direction and the opposite and close the safe door. I can't imagine anything more secure. Now we move to the body. Oh, a surprise from Sam! Where were you? I have a message for you and our viewers from my boss! Oh, the spy agency would like to remind you to subscribe to our channel. Oh, great! New parts! I trust my tool to you. I know you'll use it wisely. Rest assured that I will glue everything nicely and neatly. Guys, there's just a bit left. Support us with a thumbs up! Sammy gets excited when he sees them below the video. We're making the hinges for the safe door. Very carefully. And... Copy and paste these parts. Voila! Look closely. They're different sizes. I made something from four layers of cardboard. Wow, this part is just impossible to bend or break. I thought that the safe should be very durable and secure. You never know who will decide to steal candy. So, I could guard them. What for, Sammy? I think our craft can deal with security perfectly well on its own. In real banks, they use not only secure locks, but also different alarms and experience guards, too. I agree. We could improve our security measures. Yes! And I just came up with the alarm system. Whoa! Such a fast reaction. But I think that Sam is up to something again. Why does he want to guard the safe with candies? Hmm. I'm connecting these massive parts. And we get our secured door. These round parts go on both sides. And this one will be connected to the hinge. And our door is ready. But I want to add some special effects. Our door will be lit up with the help of LED lamps. In the end, we'll have a real piece of art, not just an ordinary safe. <laughs> Done! Now I can hide the candies! But I guess Sammy knows something. That's why I'll put colored pencils inside instead. Ha <laughs> ha
A small prank for a sly spy! Let's see what he managed to learn. We'll check the lock once more. Great. And close it. Turning the valve. Now it's secure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we meet finally! I know the password. So, 6, 30, 29. <laughs> Let's see! that you started it all on purpose? Did you think you could trick me? Did you forget I'm also a spy? Okay, I got it. Mission failed. But I will prepare better. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> See you soon. I think I have some coins to save. Da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. One cent coins go here. And quarters go here. Oh. Like that. Huh? Coins! I'll go get mine. There. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Wow, it's already full. Time to count the coins. All right. Um, wait. Why are they all mixed? Ugh. <laughs> I guess I know who's to blame. Sam? Yes? <sighs> Sam, why do you think there are these labels here? I know it's the number of days before we can spend the coins! No! It's the coin value! Once you sort them, it's easier to count them later. Oopsie! Well, I know what we have to do! We need to make a coin sorting machine! Great idea, Sammy! Yay! We're gonna have our own bank! Hi, guys! Sue, where are you? Sue! Sue! I'm here! And I'm ready to work! I prepared everything we need for the craft! Awesome! So let's get started. Let's put these parts aside. We'll need them later. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to say hi! Hello, dear viewers! First of all, let me remind you to be careful while working with hot glue. By the way, I don't really know if Sam told you what we're making. <laughs> I'll tell you the secret. It's not a secret! I'm gonna tell myself! This will be a machine for space missions! Requesting permission to land, we'll cruise across the universe far away from our planet and find the system where only slimes live. Uh, uh, Sam, are you sure about that? What do you mean? We're making a coin sorting machine. I'm gluing the walls for it now. Yeah? Oh, I confuse it with my secret craft. What secret craft? Huh? Come on, Sammy. Spit it out. Uh, I wanted to make a rocket. Well, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, behold! We're making a brand new sorting machine for... Coins! <laughs> Bravo, Sammy. Great performance. You think so? Sure. By the way, this is how our coins will be sorted. Each coin will fall into the slot of the right size. There. See? By the way, how are you controlling those coins? It's magic! Oh, all right, fine. Let it be magic. You were also talking about a rocket. Have you prepared something for it? Of course. Stay here. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm not going anywhere. We're actually making a craft here. And I am curious to see what Sam can make. Oh, no, I want a rocket, too. But I'll try to limit myself to this machine. Plus, we're moving to a very interesting part. The motor. So let's connect the motor wires to the dimmer. It will help control the speed of the motor. Now let's attach the contact block for the battery. There we go. Connect the motor to the battery to make it work. Be very careful with wires, guys. Ask an adult to help you. Sam! How much longer? Almost there! Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Soon we'll launch the rocket! <gasps> Sam! Is everything okay? Oh no! The test run failed! I guess it's lack of funding. Finish the coin machine, Sue, so I can buy new materials! <sighs> Naughty slime. I'm going back to work. Uh, you can keep this. I made this plate out of Sam's rocket piece that he kindly gave to me. 
The notches should be as large as the biggest coin you've got. Now we need to attach the plate to the motor axle. Glue it really well, and secure it with another cardboard piece. There. Sam ran away so quickly that I didn't have time to ask anything. I wonder what happened to his rocket. Give a thumbs up if you want to find out too. But I think neither Sam nor his morale were hurt. Actually, I think he's trying to fool me. Anyway, let's glue the front part of our machine. Huh, what went wrong? Maybe the engine power wasn't strong enough? Ugh, I'm gonna check on Sue. I'm here to get away from my calculations. Do you need help? You can cut transparent plastic into pieces. What plastic? Challenge accepted, Susan. All right, plastic. It can reduce the rocket weight. Thanks, Sue. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I need to think if I said something wrong. Even if Sam says thinking can cause a headache, he's an expert in this, so I'll follow his advice. Now set the controller and apply some glue here. Be very careful. It's hot. Sue, I noticed one flaw in your design. Yeah? What is it? How will you take the battery out when it dies? Oh, through this hatch. Hatch? How? When did you make it? Magic, Sammy. Magic. <laughs> okay, you got me. I'm gonna go finish my rocket. Guys, subscribe to our channel if you love craft magic. Now we're going to make shoots for the coins. Let's get started. We need to use the right measurement for each shoot. Glue the sidewalls, making sure a coin can pass between them. We'll have four types of coins. That means we need four different shoots. Two, I was passing by and saw some pieces. I decided to glue them. Oh, thank you. Do they have different sizes? Sure, one for each coin type. Cool, and uh, what about plastic? Oh, I forgot, I'm off. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy what, I've got this thing on my mind now. Oh, what kind of thing? Why do I make the helmet from? How do I breathe in open space? Oh, got it, be right back. <laughs> you look cool, Sammy. You bet. The best designer worked on that helmet. I think the designer is Sam himself. Give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Oh, do you want to make more helmets? Yeah, for my fingers. <laughs> well, fingers need protection, too. Oh, Sam. Stop making me laugh. These will be the containers for the coins. Ah, so let me help you. I can glue the rest. It'll be great. By the way, how's it going with the rocket? Almost done. You'll see. Oh, I can't wait. I hope this time it'll be safer. Sure. This time everything's gonna be fine. By the way, here's your help. Containers for the coins. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Sammy. So, don't you think this machine's a bit gray? Yes, I do. That's why I'm going to decorate it. Here goes the roof. Something like a chimney. Stickers to mark the coin value. Also, let's add some color to the central piece. Sam, I'm finished with the sorting machine, but I still haven't seen your rocket. I need a few minutes more. It's gonna be ready soon. Nothing could stop the greatest slime on his way to his dream. Sam, 
Damn! I can tell this rocket isn't real and so can the viewers. Of course, it's a prototype. I decided not to risk anymore. I promise it would be safe, remember? <sighs> yeah, can't argue with that. Well, I think we need to invest more coins into rocket development. You can just give me uh, these two stacks. Okay, okay. But I wanted to spend them on sweets. Sweets? Uh, the rocket can wait, but the sweets cannot. Come on, let's go buy something cosmically yummy. <laughs> Someone's changed his tune. I brought more coins from my stash, too. But Sam, that's our shared jar. We both put coins in it. You only put quarters, and I put different coins. <sighs> yeah, but only just a few. Fine, just don't get distracted. Check out how many we've got. Time to count the coins. All right, but first we need to say bye to the viewers. Yes, bye-bye, guys. Subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. And share this video with your friends. See ya. What happened? Is everyone okay? Seems our spider pig exploded! I guess the last coin was too much for it. Don't worry, Sammy. We can... We'll make a new coin bank. I got an idea. So let's go. Enough sitting around. Restless slime. It's not easy to keep up with his mood. Hey, Sammy, wait up. Hello, guys. We've got huge plans today. Hi, everyone. Yes, we're going to make a cool coin bank. Not just cool, but an amazing goodness coin bank. It'll literally eat coins. Can you imagine that? But it'll be very kind. <laughs> Look, we've already prepared one part. It'll swallow coins with its tongue. This way. <laughs> Very illustrative, Sammy. Look, these two holes should be large enough to fit the biggest coin in your coin bank. You'll understand why later. But first, let's outline this piece. <sighs> It'll store so many coins. I can't wait to test it. Yes, but we should feed the coin bank carefully, Sammy. It can choke on too many coins. And we don't want that to happen, right? But first, we need to make a mechanism for eating coins. Let's start right away. We need a circle like this. Let's apply some glue. Be careful, it's very hot. By the way, guys, can you help us with the name for our future coin bank? Coin buncher? Huh, sounds strange. Uh, better you try, guys. <laughs> yes, please. Sam and I love reading your comments and giving them likes. Want to know what our coin bank's gonna look like? I designed it myself. Not a word to Susan. Sammy! Uh, what are you doing there? Ah, uh, nothing. What, are you done here? Hey, don't tell the surprise to our viewers beforehand. It's not fair. Oh, Sue, how did you know? Guys, sometimes I think Sue has a third eye on her back. <laughs> Sammy, you saw through me. <laughs> Joking aside, the mechanism is ready. Let's test it. Woohoo! Cool! But there's still so many parts left. Let's continue. Guys, it's time to make the body of our coin bank. First, let's glue the front part. Apply a thin layer of glue carefully. There we go. And attach it to the base. Carefully. Yeah, I'm so nervous that I'm sweating. Sammy, no need to worry so much. It's not the first time we're making a craft. Guys, did you know that there's more than 500 videos on our channel? And so many of you, too. <laughs> Sam, you're a great actor, no doubt. But you'd better help me with the mechanism now. I'm ready. What's my task? Well, I need to finish the mechanism. Bring me the side wall, please. Here you are, Sue. Great! Just what I need! Good. We're all set. So, can I reveal the secret of this coin bank designed to our viewers? Sammy, wait a second! It already passed! 
and I finished. But the secret will remain a secret. <laughs> the coins will fall here before being swallowed by our coin bank. But they'll be all over the place, Sue! No, they will not. I thought of that already. Interesting, but still not clear. Do you understand, guys? And now? See, no matter how many coins you put, they'll remain here. Okay, you're right, but watch this! Shivery chatters! Wait, Sammy, I've almost finished. I'll take this. <laughs> hey! Ha <laughs> ha You won't catch me! Ugh, this thing offends my designer taste. I'll work on it. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, this goes here. <laughs> now it's way better. Very creative. Guys, do you think Sam did well? If you like it, just give a thumbs up. Guys, just a little more and our coin bank will be ready. Do you want to glue it, Sammy? Your energy's brimming over today. I thought you'd never ask. You're not the only one to glue things. Guys, our coin bank is missing one important detail. Have you ever seen coin banks being broken to get the money out? Well, we've got a better way. If Sam and I need coins, we can just open the lid. Ugh. Here, Sue, you can glue it. Actually, the spider pig had the same kind of a lid. What? I borrowed coins to buy some ice cream. <laughs> Just a few! <laughs> if we forget to close the lid, all the coins can whoosh fall out! <laughs> Don't even think of it, Sammy. We'll save coins until there's no more room inside. Hop! Let's see what the finished coin bank looks like. Hmm. Looks a bit dull, don't you think? Oh, fix it! Sue, close your eyes. All right, surprise me. Oh, such a lovely koala! Where are her eyes? Oh, you opened your eyes too early! I didn't have time to finish! Let me help you. There. Cute! Now it's my turn to make a contribution. Guys, give our koala bank lots of likes! I'm a bit nervous. I hope it won't repeat the spider pig's fate. We'll see now. Let's start with a small amount. Okay. Don't let me down. Now that's an appetite. Guys, you should definitely make this koala bank. It's so much fun. That's so cool. So I'm going to bring more coins. I guess that's all for today. Saving money can be fun, especially if you have such a cute coin bank. Hit the bell button below and we'll notify you about our new videos. It's my turn to spin the wheel. <gasps> These are my coins. You can't catch me. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ugh, I'll show you. Bye, guys. I guess Sam came up with a new prank? Ding, 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 ding. One more go. Sam! Ah, Sam, you scared me! What is all this? Why are there coins in the toilet? No worries, Sue. It's just a new game I invented. Coin ball! What? Coin ball? Yep, watch me! Oh, Sam, cut it out! Flushing coins in the toilet is a bad idea. How can I play coin ball then? <laughs> Come, Sam. I have a better option where we won't lose so much money. Oh. Okay. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to make the game Plinko. Hey! You came up with something new, but nothing can be my coin ball. <laughs> we'll find out soon, Sammy. Okay. First, we need to construct the tray where our coins will be stored. We'll need cardboard parts like this. 30 centimeters by 5 centimeters. And six by five centimeters. We'll connect them with glue. Huh, tray. Well, I think it's more convenient than throwing coins into the toilet, but not so much fun. Let's save our money, Sam. 
Now we'll split our tray into sections using small squares, five by five centimeters. We'll glue them carefully three centimeters apart from each other. Me too. Did you also make us safe? I'm pretty sure that my coins need serious protection. <laughs> Another safe, Sammy? Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> A safe is a good thing if you have a lot of money, but with Sam's lavish lifestyle… Anyway, let's focus on the Plinko game. Guys, do you know anything about the Plinko game? Tell us about it in the comments! Great! We only need to close our box. We'll need two boxes in total like this, for the red side and for the blue one. It's like unboxing. Blue corner is the best! I call dips on the blue! <laughs> okay, Sammy, in that case, why don't you glue it yourself? Oh, <laughs> I'll try. Now we'll glue the parts for the red cardboard. Close every other section and stick a piece of colored paper right here. Check it out, Sue. Did I make everything right? Sam, how did you manage to glue everything so <laughs> fast? Sue, it's years of practice. <laughs> I believe you. Well, I have everything ready, too. Just a small detail left. Handle so our chests can be moved easily. Wow, you considered everything, Sue. I'll go and make one more chest. I'll store my ties there. <laughs> Great idea, Sam. Well, I guess our chests are ready. Awesome. Guys, do you want more cool crafts? And subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay tuned. Now it's time to assemble the main part of our future game. For this, we'll need a cardboard piece like this with side 6, 27, 3, and 30 centimeters. We'll cut it out carefully using the cutter. Guys, be careful! The cutter is super sharp. Ask an adult to help you. Great! Now we'll need to make small holes all around the surface. By the way, Sam, while I'm cutting the openings, could you help me? Take these wooden sticks and cut them into equal parts one centimeter long. Sure, Sue. I was thinking that you decided to do without my help. Nope, I need you always. Now we proceed. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like Sam got carried away and I'm actually done. There you go, Sue! Awesome. Thanks, Sammy. Now we insert the sticks into the holes. Like this. Looks great. Well, well, well. Now it looks more like a porcupine than a coin ball. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> So everything is ready. Let's add more beauty. Hey, Sue, I thought beauty is my thing. Okay, Sam. Let me glue red squares and you'll take care of the blue ones. Okay. <laughs> Great. Now we'll make sure our coins won't fly around the house. But it's the best part. Sam, it's not. It's just a mess. Guys, what do you think? Throwing coins around? Is it fun or a mess? Comment below. Yeah, yeah. Don't listen to him, guys. Sam puts fun above everything else, even when other things are more important. Well, I glued these strips one centimeter wide so our coins won't be flying out of the game board. Let's also add these stripes three centimeters wide so the coins drop into different sections of our chests. Oh, Sue, I'm pretty sure that all the coins will get into the blue chest. I mean mine! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that, Sammy. How cool! Just one final touch left. We'll cover our game with a plastic sheet to keep all the coins inside. Hey, carefully now, Sue. Here, take it! Thank you, Sam. So let's apply the glue… and attach it. Ta-da! Okay, we're ready to move to the final stage. Uh, Everything was ready. <laughs> Patience, Sammy. So we only need to put all the parts together. For this, we'll need pieces like this. They'll make the base for our Polinko. When you're done gluing the base, call me. I'll test how solid it is. Okay, Sam. We'll take this piece and glue another part on top of it. Sue, so, do you remember by any chance where I put my piggy bank? I want to bring more coins for our battle. Look in the toilet, Sam. <laughs> Ugh, you are so mean, Sue. Guys, give a thumbs up if you don't want Sue to be so mean to me. <laughs> that will take a lot of thumbs up. Okay, let's glue two more pieces on the side. One. And two. Attention, everyone! 
coin ball to the right, plink go to the left. Hurry up and take your chance to play the best coin game! Sam, give me that! Hi! You took everything from me again! <laughs> Sam, these aren't direction signs. These are part of the base for the game. We'll attach them here. Wow, interesting. If it's that interesting, then don't go away. Watch me. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm talking to cardboard. <laughs> Whatever. We'll attach the second part and voila. And here comes the last one. Drum roll. Awesome! Now we need to assemble all the parts of the game. The chests go here. Two, here comes the air support. Ooh, awesome, Sam. We'll put it here. The final touch. Done and done. Check out this perfection. Get ready for the battle, Susie! Dear friends, now we will finally find out what is better, Plinko or the Splendid Coin Ball! I'm sure you'll love this game, Sammy. So, are you ready? Sure! Then, here we go! Yay! The first goal is mine! My turn! Wait, I'm gonna catch up on you. Yeah! Uh, I guess you're right, too. It's so much fun! Of course! Guys, do you like the game? Comment below. Here comes another one. Let's have a look at the results. So, what do we have here? I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure that. <gasps> Whoa! Look, guess I won! <laughs> Unbelievable! Get ready for the second round! <laughs> Let's get to it! Guys, do you want more awesome games? Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you won't miss new videos! See you soon! She won't touch it either? Of course. Oh, I like that. Susie, will you please help me make my own safe for coins? For coins? Yes! Samantha keeps pinching my coins that I'm saving for candy! Huh. Well, it'll only be fair. I think I have some cardboard left. Let me check. <laughs> quick! Quick! I need... Oh, hey there. Sue and I are going to make a safe. And my coins will be safe and it won't just be safe, it'll be interesting, too. Interesting? How? We'll make a piggy bank that will swallow the coins. Swallow? Well, as long as it doesn't digest them, then I can get it back. So what do I do? Put out circles, make decorations, chop some sticks. <laughs> Hot. Sammy, calm down. Let me think. Oh, yes, you can cut the sticks since you're such a pro. No problem, though. All right, and I'll start with the cardboard. As usual, we'll make some base details first. I'll need a few parts with holes. Remember to be careful with the cutter. And the cut must be precise. Take your time. Like this. I'll glue these three parts together. <laughs> I believe I've become an expert when it comes to hot glue. Of course, always use caution. And when cutting sticks too! I didn't even cut myself. That's great! 
Oh, you making a frame? No, Sammy. It's a future mouth for your coin-hungry bank. Oh, carry on. I'm intrigued. Right on. There will be a small hatch in the bottom. Cool. This tiny door works great. Now I'll put together a frame for the bank. I'll make it out of these rectangular parts. It's very simple. I just need to remember to leave some space on each side. Let's see if it fits. <gasps> Looks good. No need to glue this. It'll be a moving part. But now it'll help us to understand where to glue these parts. Very careful. I don't want to glue everything together. Just attach these narrow strips to the wall. The first batch of sticks is ready. Just in time, thank you. You're welcome. These little sticks will go on top of the moving part, right here on the sides. One. And two. And also onto these parts. Double check. Yep. Everything fits perfectly. Now… Here's the rest of the sticks! You're so fast, Sammy. I'll need these really soon, in a few moments. I'll just glue the back wall. And I… And you will bring me a piece of twine. Yes, ma'am. Like this? Exactly like this. Let's put together the moving mechanism. Securely wrap the thread around the stick. Glue the stick to the moving part. Pass the thread through this part that was made by Sammy. I did it myself because there was no need for hot glue. Just this wood glue. Well, I'll still need hot glue because we need this part to be securely attached to the cardboard. One circle, two circles, and an all. Uh, what? We need to make another part out of circles with a hole in the middle. Guys, this all is very sharp. Be careful with it. I'll put three circles together on the all. Two big ones and one smaller one. Here! Oh, how did you know that's the glue I needed? I read your mind. Huh? <laughs> oh, guys, do you think Sam can read minds? You never know what slimes can do. I might have missed something. But I do know what step is next. I'll insert a skewer into this part that we made. And secure it with glue. Like this. I'll also need a similar part but bigger. And a cube made out of cardboard squares. This part with a small stick and a small circle. What are they for? Hmm, what about reading my mind? You know, the conditions aren't the same. Magnetic storms. <laughs> I see. I'll put together a revolving mechanism out of these parts. These parts made of small circles will go here. And the parts made of larger circles and the cube will go there. Awesome! Should the thread just dangle like this? Right, Sammy. We'll attach it to this small stick. Let's tighten it. And secure it with glue just to be safe. And cut off the excess. That magnetic storm is gone and I see… I see you need rubber bands! You're right, Sammy. Two rubber bands will go inside. I'll use tweezers to expand them and avoid breaking something. Let's see… Oh, yes! It works! Excellent! <laughs> and there will be one band outside here. Don't forget this part! I won't, of course! It's a handle to make the rotating more convenient. I'll secure it with glue. And check! Ah, good job! Hmm. Something's missing, though. One more wall on a bottom? Those two, but wait right here! I'll be back! Okay, meanwhile, I'll attach these parts. That's it! Your saving bank is ready, Sammy! You can't deliver the finished work without my decorations! Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Sam. I've prepared everything. Move. Okay, th this one here, and uh-huh. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! That one, too! That's a real coin eater. Coin eater? Oh, I like that. Come on, let me put my coins inside, quick!
doesn't get to touch my coins. Yes, and if you need them yourself, you can take them out through this hatch here. What? Shh! Don't tell Samantha! I won't. Do you guys want a bank like this for yourselves? Give a thumbs up and go make it! And get your friends to make it more fun! Bye bye Also, subscribe to the channel, please! Off we go to think of a new DIY for you! She won't touch it either? Of course. Oh, I like that. Susie, will you please help me make my own safe for coins? For coins? Yes! Samantha keeps pinching my coins that I'm saving for candy! Huh. Well, it'll only be fair. I think I have some cardboard left. Let me check. <laughs> quick! Quick! I need... Oh, hey there. Sue and I are going to make a safe. And my coins will be safe inside! It won't just be safe, it'll be interesting too! Interesting? How? We'll make a piggy bank that will swallow the coins! Swallow? Well, as long as it doesn't digest them, then I can get it back! So what do I do? Get out circles! Make decorations! Chop some sticks! Hot! <laughs> Sammy, calm down! Let me think! Oh yes! You can cut the sticks since you're such a pro! No problem. Alright, and I'll start with the cardboard! As usual, we'll make some base details first. I'll need a few parts with holes. Remember to be careful with the cutter. And the cut must be precise. Take your time. Like this. I'll glue these three parts together. <laughs> I believe I've become an expert when it comes to hot glue. Of course, always use caution. And when cutting sticks too! I didn't even cut myself. That's great! Why are you making a frame? No, Sammy. It's a future mouth for your coin-hungry bank. Oh, carry on. I'm intrigued. Right on. There will be a small hatch in the bottom. Cool. This tiny door works great. Now I'll put together a frame for the bank. I'll make it out of these rectangular parts. It's very simple. I just need to remember to leave some space on each side. Let's see if it fits. <gasps> Looks good! No need to glue this. It'll be a moving part. But now, it'll help us to understand where to glue these parts. Very careful. I don't want to glue everything together. Just attach these narrow strips to the wall. The first batch of sticks is ready! Just in time, thank you! You're welcome. These little sticks will go on top of the moving part, right here on the sides. One. And two. And also onto these parts. Double check. Yep. Everything fits perfectly. Now... And the rest of the sticks! You're so fast, Sammy. I'll need these really soon, in a few moments. I'll just glue the back wall. And I... And you will bring me a piece of twine. Yes, ma'am! Like this? Exactly like this! Let's put together the moving mechanism. Securely wrap the thread around the stick. Glue the stick to the moving part. Pass the thread through this part that was made by Sammy. I did it myself because there was no need for hot glue. Just this wood glue! Well, I'll still need hot glue because we need this part to be securely attached to the cardboard. Well, there go two circles. And an ah. 
Wow. Uh, what? We need to make another part out of circles with a hole in the middle. Guys, this awl is very sharp. Be careful with it. I'll put three circles together on the awl. Two big ones and one smaller one. Here! Oh, how did you know that's the glue I needed? I read your mind. Huh? <laughs> oh, guys, do you think Sam can read minds? You never know what slimes can do. I might have missed something. But I do know what step is next. I'll insert a skewer into this part that we made and secure it with glue, like this. I'll also need a similar part but bigger and a cube made out of cardboard squares. This part with a small stick and a small circle. What are they for? Hmm, what about reading my mind? You know, the conditions aren't the same. Magnetic storms. <laughs> I see. I'll put together a revolving mechanism out of these parts. These parts made of small circles will go here. And the parts made of larger circles and the cube will go there. Awesome! Should the thread just dangle like this? Right, Sammy. We'll attach it to this small stick. Let's tighten it. And secure it with glue just to be safe. And cut off the excess. That magnetic storm is gone and I see... I see you need rubber bands! You're right, Sammy. Two rubber bands will go inside. I'll use tweezers to expand them and avoid breaking something. Let's see. Oh, yes! It works! Excellent! <laughs> and there'll be one band outside here. Don't forget this part! I won't, of course! It's a handle to make the rotating more convenient. I'll secure it with glue. And check! Ah, good job! Hmm. Something's missing, though. One more wall on a bottom? Those two, but wait right here! I'll be back! Okay, meanwhile, I'll attach these parts. That's it! Your saving bank is ready, Sammy! You can't deliver the finished work without my decorations! Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Sam. I've prepared everything. Move. Okay, th this one here, and... Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! That one, too! That's a real coin eater. Coin eater? Oh, I like that. Come on, let me put my coins inside, quick! Yes, and if you need them yourself, you can take them out through this hatch here. But shh, don't tell Samantha. I won't. Do you guys want a bank like this for yourselves? Give a thumbs up and go make it. And get your friends to make it more fun. Bye-bye. Also, subscribe to the channel, please. Off we go to think of a new DIY for you. I'm asking you nicely. Give me my money! Give me my money back now! You... Sammy, what's going on? Are you yelling at the piggy bank? Yes, I am. I accidentally threw some extra money inside. I wanted to buy an ice cream for myself. And you, of course. But this greedy thing took everything and doesn't want to give it back! Well, Sammy, there's only one sure way to get your savings out. No! What are you doing, Sue? It's so beautiful, it's my favorite piggy bank! I won't let her do it to you, my precious. I promise. Don't worry, Sammy. I'm going to help you make a piggy bank giver. Let's go! Hi, guys. Today we're going to make an ATM piggy bank that easily dispenses coins and cash. We need a lot of cardboard. Sue, I found this old model of a racetrack. I wonder what that do? 
Sammy, it's a layout for our ATM and I'm glad you found it in time. This is the base for our craft. This part will be the front wall with the mechanism. Isn't it great? Oh, I wish I could speed up time to see the result right now. No, Sue. The process of making a craft is such a pleasure, too. <laughs> yes, Sammy, you're right. By the way, guys, don't forget, safety first when working with the cutter. Sue, what are all those slots for? Those are for your convenience, Sammy. You stick a card into the slots and coins and cash will fall out. Now let's remove this part at the bottom so our wall gets its final look. That's a great idea, Sue! Do you need this piece now? Yes, Sammy, thanks. I need to cut out these slots, too. Hmm, could you paint this part, please? Sure, Sue. I'll do everything. Great! In the meantime, let's do some more cutting. I wonder what color Sam will come up with. You can stop wondering. Here it is! Then we can proceed. Let me guess. We need to glue the piece onto its place, right? But I can't help you with that. I'm too busy. Let's use some hot glue to attach these parts. Don't rush. Try to make everything very neat. Carefully. If you make a mistake, it's easy to fix everything. But it's better when things work out at the first try. I decided to clean out the craft box with leftovers, so I wonder if you can use this thing. It's just what we need. Maybe you have more? We'll apply some more hot glue, like this. Be very careful with the glue gun, guys. Sue, what do you say if we make this ATM in graffiti style? It would be so cool! Let's discuss the decor a little later. Better check out what I did while you were talking. This is the partition for different types of cash. Guys, want to see what happens next? Then subscribe and give us a thumbs up! Woohoo! Sue, do I throw it away or do you need it? Seems like you do! Yes, definitely! You'll go right here, buddy! I guess you won't need these, Susie! No, no, we do need them! Uh, oh no! I guessed it wrong! These small pieces will fit here perfectly! You'll see what for later! Make way, Sue! I'll do it myself! Woohoo! While Sam is busy, I wanted to tell you that the first ATM was set up in June 1967 in London. And we're back to Sammy! Uh -huh. like this? Great! Susie, I did a good job here! Awesome, Sammy! This piece will hold the falling coins! And did you know that there are more than 70,000 ATMs in Great Britain? That's what I call popularity! Now we'll use this piece and add it to this fence-like part. Be careful with hot glue, guys! This way! ribbons in the box with leftovers, and they are so beautiful! Here they are! I'm pretty sure we can use them somehow in our craft today. Please tell me that I'm right. Oh, Sammy, <laughs> I'm sorry, but these have nothing to do with our craft. Whoosh! Did I mess it up again? Ugh! What is this? Ouch! Okay, guys, it's time to attach the sidewalls. For this, we'll use the hot glue gun again. Sammy, you're so funny! We better keep working on our craft, okay? And this is just what we need, right? Actually, now I'm starting to doubt your decorating skills. Are you alright? <laughs> I was just kidding. But this actually could fit in here somehow. We better use this square part to make the bottom of our ATM. And… Here! I found this big piece of cardboard! And if we put it slanted… Oh, I got it! Thank you, Sammy! Ugh, finally! If we do as Sammy said, we will create a slide! And… done! Hmm, I have to check what Susie is doing there. Uh-huh, looks good! Here, too! Uh, I know! At the supports, too, Sue! Just in case! Good thinking, let's do it! One, two, three, done! Sue, I think it's important to test the mechanism right now before we do the next step. Sounds reasonable! Are you ready? Check out the car they made! Not so fast, Sue! I prepared the cash, see? Woohoo! Yeah! The bills will go here. And this one is for the coins. Yay! It's working! So cool! Yes, the mechanism is a 
hey, but we still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> you sound like a true craft master. Guys, stay tuned. So I think this piece will make a perfect lid. How do you like it? Cool, huh? Sam, you're hilarious. Did you already make everything? Sure thing. Here it is. You can have it. <laughs> Sammy, you're an amazing helper. Let's see what these openings are for. This one is for coins, and here we'll have the door for cash. Looks good, but something is still missing. Of course, Sue! I just finished this lid. Here! Thanks. Actually, I think it's really important to learn how to recycle the cardboard to help the environment. We can use leftovers in other crafts. It's so necessary to recycle, because who will take care of our planet if not us? Let's check how our lid is working. Awesome! Now we'll glue it on the very top. Right here. Sue, when will we start decorating? I can't wait! Well, do you already have an idea of what we can draw on our ATM? Why don't we draw a bag full of money? Sounds great! And let's add lots of graffiti as you suggested earlier. First, we'll use a pencil. Here will be the word money. Sammy, you're so fast! Let's take a look at everything. Here is the inscription and a small bag with money. These dollar signs and coins were made by Sammy. Guys, we are getting to the coloring part. But first, we have to flip our craft so that the paint won't spill. Wow, Sue! You're painting it already? Then it's high time for me to prepare everything else! Woohoo! We'll start with the green color. And this inscription. So great! Now let's get to the other side. Sue, that was amazing! But hurry up! Sammy, we don't have much left, so nothing to worry about. Hmm, I wonder what is Sue doing there? Whoa, you're almost done! Hold on a sec! The first decorated pieces are here! Ugh, uh-oh. Careful, Sammy! You! Well, I really wanted to surprise you. And your decor pieces are amazing, too. All the details are thought through. Sue, have you forgotten that I'm a master decorator? I always do a great job. This panel looks cool. Let's glue it here. Great decision. You'll admire it later. Guys, we have just one final touch left. And... Wow! Check out how awesome it looks now. The letters are so bright. And these buttons are for the bills. I can't take my eyes off this bright wall. Let's take a closer look at our ATM, guys. Let's prepare the cash, Sammy. Ugh. Ugh. I want to test our crap, Sue. Let's roll them. Done. Oh, I can't wait to start. Sammy, we just need to insert these. And our cash goes right here. Hop. Hop. I'm ready to test our ATM. Yup. Sammy, we did such a great job. Let's see. This is amazing! Our ATM is working! It's so great! I can't believe my eyes! So guys, if you like this craft as much as we do, 